<laughs> ah, it's weird. You're in the me. Blues fan <laughs> corner. Hello. Corner. After seeing so many of Blues Fans Reacts videos in this corner, it's weird being in here and seeing myself in his set, basically. Let's go! right now how frustrated I am. Is that the Tyler Okamoto in my recording corner? How does it work? Does uh, the away teams get to play Gloria for themselves or is that... <laughs> Dude, I was low-key so sick of that song. So sick of it. I would have probably been after like the first day of the Stanley Cup parade. I would have been like, all right, I'm done. Let's move on. Now we're... What's your goal song? Uh, right now, it's actually based, it's a St. Louis based band. So okay. Have, I think it's the Urge Have the Blues Day <laughs> song is what it's called. I mean, I got to hear it four times tonight. I still don't know what it is. <laughs> we planned this at the beginning of the season, and I thought they were going to have very much different implications in this video, but. Uh, <laughs> I still can't believe we're not in the freaking playoffs! <laughs> Blues fans of Reacts, Mason and I uh, were talking about this all the way back in September, I believe, at the Salt Lake City Frozen Fury game where he was uh, the only guy in a blues jersey there. Well, no, there were a few, but uh, <laughs> there was like two or three. I was very <laughs> he was he was the one in my section, and so that was weird. But we were talking about you know watching this game together and being able to talk about you know moving into the playoffs, possible. <laughs> Playoff matchup in the second or third round because you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then uh, if, it, if if for some reason in those rounds, you know, watching those together, recording our reactions to every single goal, and uh, man, there would have been a lot of them apparently. Dude, you were my president's trophy pick. I'm so <laughs> mad at you. <laughs> and I should have known that this season would be plagued by injuries because in August. I sprained my left ankle. No, I sprained my right ankle. And then in October, I broke my other ankle. And then I just sprained my ankle again a couple of weeks ago. And you know, it's all good fun. 500 injury games lost. And uh, the, the, the teams that we show up against are Calgary, Washington, and St. Louis, apparently. And the Vegas Golden Knights win, seven to four. <laughs> what is happening? Oh! This is all five stages of grief. <laughs> Just all at once. <laughs> there were seven goals. Eichel had two. I think, is that his first two goal game as a Golden Knight? God, I uh. hope not. <laughs> no, it wasn't his first two goal game. He had one against Seattle, <laughs> which is <laughs> where you're from. So, <laughs> woo! Jonathan Marcheseau, uh, 30 goal scorer. What's. <gasps> Anaheim. One of my hot takes at the beginning of the season is there would be another e-bug appearance. One just came in for the dust. What? Game 82 and you yeah. freaking get it right. Tom Hodges. Tom is from England, played for SMU in Dallas and the Allen Americans. He played for Dallas, eh? Oh my goodness. And now he played against Dallas. That's great. I was originally supposed to get here game time was six mountain time. I was supposed to get here at 530. And there was traffic for my 40 minute drive to extend it to an hour and a half. So I was late, we'd show up and it's the first period, 10 minutes have already gone, hadn't missed much, shots were five to one at that point. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> noted, <laughs> Hated player by most of the St. Louis Blues fa uh, franchise fans, all of that. Mark Stone scores the first goal in this game, and I'm like, Woo! I also showed up wearing uh, this jersey because, you know, Minnesota. The one jersey I asked him not to bring. <laughs> in order for them to clinch home ice advantage, they needed a win uh, against Vegas at all, and then Minnesota needed to lose in regulation, and needless to say, uh, I think Minnesota's just won, yeah? What, what, what a final day <laughs> for the uh, NHL skit. Well, I guess there's uh, Seattle and Winnipeg that play each other on Sunday. You, you want to join me as we go over the rest of that game? Can we fit? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you an AZ sports guy? Yes, but AZ is like this tall. So. <laughs> We played shooting. hockey for, well, we were shooting hockey during the first intermission and then after the game ended, and that was fun. Uh, I have never really played outdoor hockey before, so that was... What? Yeah. I've only played on the ice. And my stick, uh, I just taped it because I didn't want to tear up the bottom. It's completely <laughs> it's torn my, up now. That's great. My driveway is full of black scuff marks. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I feel 
feel like the, the entire game, you're going like, oh, of course, this person is doing this. Yes, that's exactly, that's how every, that's every single Blues game you'll ever watch with me will go. It's like, of course it's Stone who scores. Of course it's Eichel who scores. With uh, Of course it's Petrangelo who gets, like, what, two assists? Yeah. Like, it was on a power play, too. It was a power play goal from Mark Stone assisted by Alex Petrangelo. Neither of us are happy, but at least you got the win, so. <laughs> Think about it. Your season will end with a win, and mine won't. Uh, unless, Isn't you know, that a flex? Unless you go far, which, I mean, if you don't know the blues, you don't know how this works. <laughs> 2019? We won in 2019, now we're cursed with another 50 years. And you lost to Vancouver in the first round. Yes, and we then did do you, that. Thank you. you lost, got swept by Colorado. Thank, Thank you, Thank you though, that. for allowing Nazem Kadri to be suspended from that, though, because that helped us a lot. Now that you know that St. Louis is not having home ice advantage mm, against I, Minnesota. I <laughs> what are you looking forward to most? <laughs> the playoff hockey. Eric Sanko scoring a single goal. <laughs> <laughs> if he doesn't, do you request am, a trade for him? I am looking forward to game seven. Let's put it that way. <laughs> That'll be an actually fun series to watch. Yeah. The Blues really haven't had a super fun, it's, except for obviously Boston, but like there hasn't been like a playoff series in recent memory that I could think of that was like, win or lose, this is a fun series to yeah. watch. And I think Minnesota and St. Louis, obviously the two, Hottest teams in the league, in my opinion, you know, going head to head. Now, I have to ask this because my son's middle name. Who would you rather face, Talbot or Flurry? <laughs> we light up Talbot every time we play him. So really? I'd much rather play Talbot. Oh, you got a There's caller. My wife. Hello, caller. You are on the air. <laughs> What's with my, all my friends and having wives? Yeah. This is bullcrap. I'm single. Yeah, if uh, any Vegas fans want to, you know, date outside the. I think... Only a four hour drive. I'm just saying. <laughs> Five and a half? For when I like for go when you're going, <laughs> yeah. I felt like Vegas was gonna win this game, uh, just because you know they um, have nothing else to play for. <laughs> the the most surprising thing uh, wasn't the fact that they scored seven, wasn't the fact that they allowed two power play goals, and it wasn't the fact that they actually got one with Mark Stone. It was the Canadians scoring <laughs> ten against Florida. I mean, yes, Florida was sitting. Sam Reinhart, Barkov, Gudis, Bobrovsky, Huberto, Weger, Marchment, Bennett, <laughs> Drew, and Knight on the bench. Jonas, Jonas Johansson in goal, who's had 11 games and Buffalo his save legend. percentage <laughs> dropped. Um, one of the things that uh, Mason said in, throughout the game was that St. Louis doesn't take a lot in volume of shots, but all of them are dangerous. Mm -hmm. And uh, I <laughs> could see that a lot of them from the <laughs> slot, you know, right there, forcing Thompson to make really good saves when he was making them, despite the fact that he allowed four on 18 shots. Vegas is the exact opposite. The volume of shots, crazy high. None of them are dangerous. They scored seven, <laughs> uh, which is tied for the most this season again. <laughs> ah, yeah. Uh, the only other time they scored seven this season was against Colorado. So we can show up against playoff teams <laughs> and lose to freaking Andrew Hammond and the New Jersey Devils. In a shootout. <laughs> no, that was in regulation. <laughs> Perron gets one in this game because, of course, he does. He uh, always scores against the Golden Knights, I feel King. like. Uh, and <laughs> he just likes scoring against his former teams because he scored against St. Louis he scores, a lot. He <laughs> scored against St. Louis all the time. It was nuts. Jordan Cairo, also noted Golden Knight Slayer. Uh, I remember distinctly, yeah, this guy. Him dancing around Petrangelo <laughs> in the first game that he played against you guys. To Both Petrangelo's reaction yeah. and Cairo's reaction are emo to my Discord <laughs> server. Zach Whitecloud. Oh my goodness, what a snipe, dude. I didn't, I like, uh, he's his eighth of the year, but I feel like a lot of his are like that, where they're like, dude, where did that come from? And then he doesn't score one again for 20 more games. <laughs> okay, right. at least those 20 games won't be in the playoffs, so you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> ah, no scoring in the playoffs, except this time it's because we're not in it. So it's slightly better. Vegas just needs to get healthy and make minimal changes at most because I feel like if they come back and they hold on to it, kind of like what Tampa did after they got swept in the first round by Columbus, that they could come back and, and have a yeah. monster season with a healthy lineup. Mm -hmm. What do you think Vegas should do in the off season? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what the Blues should do in the off season. With the, with the Knights, I mean, uh, obviously from an outside perspective, I watch them like every so often when there's a Knights game on, I'll watch it. Mm -hmm. it. From like a casual fan standpoint, I don't think there's anything to worry about. Like, really? Just watching it? I mean, they're still a good team. Look at the lineup that they got. The only thing I'd be concerned about is the future, because depth... <laughs>
what depth, you know? <laughs> so this is the definition of win now, you know? <laughs> so I injuries killed you this entire season. So, yeah. I mean, next two years or so, this is going to be a dangerous team. They're my President's Trophy pick for a reason, <laughs> so. This is the type of game that we needed Vegas to have against literally any of the opponents that they faced in the last 10 games that were not in the playoffs. You know, oftentimes the phrase better late than never applies, and I don't think it applies here. <laughs> At least I'm a hot mess that is worrying like the day. <laughs> <laughs> this was in January! Yeah. <laughs> Game time goes in the final two minutes. That has only doubled since then. Yeah. Vegas is elite scoring six on five and they are literally bottom of the basement when it comes to the power play. Makes no freaking sense. They don't have a goalie and they perform better. <laughs> so you know what? Every power play from now on, pull the goalie. Pull the goalie. Six <laughs> four the entire time. Next stop to play, you send the goalie back. No crying in my recording <laughs> I'm gonna probably do a playoff bracket thing where I do one that's pure chaos and one that's normal. And uh, who do you think, if not the Blues, who would you be cheering for moving forward? Blues get eliminated, I'll cheer for the Rangers. Rangers, yeah, that's very common against amongst the Vegas fan base too. Mm. They really like the Rangers. Hey, first time ever Vegas Golden Knights win game 82. <laughs> it's only their third one in their fifth season, but hey, they, they, they did it. Uh, and, uh, you know, what better way to do it? Ending on a good note. <laughs> Very funny. Ah. Anyways, it's going to be it for Game 82's Nightly Review. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Loose Fans Reacts, for hosting me for this game and uh, letting my team, you know, walk over yours for the final game of the season. <laughs> Is oh. my recording corner everything? It's cracked. Oh, up. my goodness. I was <laughs> like... It it's missing felt. the banner. The banner is usually like right up there. But my favorite, my tags. favorite St. Louis logo is that arch one. And if I were to have a jersey, it would be that one with Petra on it. Anyways, <laughs> it's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good night. Bye. <laughs>